Hello, hello, and welcome to the final uh, video in our um, An Opinionated Guide to Pandas series. Um, thank you for sticking with me, and I hope it's been useful so far. I guess if it hasn't been useful, then you probably wouldn't be here. Um, but let's get started. Uh, today we're going to be talking about pandas, miscellaneous useful functions. Um, we went over the most important things about pandas. We went over indexing and selecting. We went over column to row transformations. We went over aggregations. We went over um, the group by stuff. We went over, uh, most recently, we went over the, uh, the merging and concatenation stuff. We went over all the crucial stuff that I think would make you really awesome at pandas. And if you went through all of that, you're probably already in the top 10%. I've taught so many students about this, and even after weeks, even after months of sort of working with pandas, um, without sort of getting the, the sort of fundamental intuition of like which functions should be used when, um, you're, you're just not going to be able to go as far as you should. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of that intuition. Um, and again, this is not, this is, this is an opinionated guide. This is not the only way to do pandas, but it is one way that I have found very helpful. So. Now it's time to tell you about some of these functions that I just couldn't sort of find a theme for consistently, but I wanted to go ahead and, uh, and fill you in on. So again, we'll use the tips data set to demonstrate some of these functions. First, sample. Very simple. It is a function that samples data from a data frame. Um, you, can spec uh, you can specify a, a number. So in this case, five. I want to, uh, uh, I want to sample five examples from this data frame. Uh, you can also specify a fraction. Uh, that you want to go ahead and get out. You can specify whether you want to sample with replacement or not. And I have done some really good videos on sampling with replacement if you don't know what that means, so you can check them out. Um, so there's a couple of really useful things in sample. I actually use it all the time. Um, is in is a super useful function. So in this case, is in basically goes ahead and says, hey, let's find all values of the column that are in Saturday and Sunday. Uh, it makes it into a Boolean index. So in this case, true or false. And you can go ahead and use that to index into the tips data set itself. So let's find all rows where tips.day, so whether the day is Saturday or Sunday. So pretty simple. So Sunday, 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 sat. Um, a useful thing to do. It's actually really useful. You'll, you'll find yourself using this one a lot. Um, drop duplicates, another super useful thing to do. Um, so in this case, I can take the time and the day. I can drop the duplicates from them, and this gives me all unique combinations of time and day. Kind of cool. Um, you can always use a group by to have done that specific thing, but you know, drop duplicates is, is, a, is a pretty useful thing to do. Um, I don't find myself using this too often, um, especially, uh, specifically not in machine learning type processing, but um, it, it can be pretty useful. Um, cut, this is kind of like a really little known one here. It's, it's, uh, it's a real treat. Um, so cut basically goes ahead and uh, it takes, uh, so in this case, the total bill, it, it cuts it into three sections, a low, middle, and high section, and it labels them either low, middle, or high. So we'll go ahead and take the, the top 33rd uh, percent, the middle 33rd percent, and the bottom 33rd percent, and go ahead and give them different labels. Um, so it's kind of cool. Um, this is, uh, you know, uh, going ahead and quartiling uh, data is one way to make it a little bit less dimensional and allow machine learning models to fit better on it. And also it's kind of like cool as a, as a, as a useful technique to go ahead and give labels to, to specific quartiles of data or specific whatever tiles of data. You can have this be uh, deciles of data if you wanted. Um, so that's a useful tool. Uh, the stir, this is super useful. This is probably one of the most useful things. Um, so in this case, uh, I went ahead and I did tips.sex, which is a string, either male or female. I did dot .stir dot .lower, um, and I go in ahead and I sort of viewed the top ones of these. This is, it's just so useful. I, I just can't say how useful it is. Um, you can go ahead and check out uh, the user guide for text. There's just a bajillion commands that are here. Um, so I, I, just, I just really can't even say how useful this is. Um, The it, one way you can go ahead and sort of check these out is you can go ahead and use a use a dot tab type notation to go ahead and check out all the different things you can do with stir. You can extract, which does regex type stuff. You can do a dot contains, which is super useful. So you can find if someone's title contains like Mr. or Mrs. Um, there's so many you can make it to lower. 
Um, you can make it to upper, you can join them, you can split them. There's so many useful things you can do with strings and it all does it in a vectorized way so it's really, really fast. Um, I love this functionality of pandas, it's super useful. I, I can't really say enough about it and I think I've already said too much. Um, so stir, very useful functions that are located on this. Um, for dealing with NANDs, there's a couple of useful functions. You can do the is in a. This goes ahead and returns a bool, a bool, so true or false if it's NAN or not. So in this case, we went ahead and looked at our data set. We don't have any NANDs. Fill in a. It goes ahead and fills the in a values with a specific number or, or values, in this case, zero. Or you can go ahead and drop in a. It drops the in a values from your data set. I almost never recommend doing this, this sort of drop in a stuff, but that is, that is for a data science class and not for a pandas class. Uh, correlation, it's pretty useful. I'm, I'm not really going to go over it too much here, but you can go ahead and look at numeric values, so tips and total bill, and calculate the correlation, and we'll give you a correlation matrix. So in this case, the Pearson correlation is 0.67. Uh, rank, it will compute its rank, so going from one to whatever in of your data set is. So we can figure out, you know, looks like the first tip was the fifth, uh, I think this is the fifth least tip in the, in the data set. So there's very few tips that are less than $1. Um, Rename, eh, it's useful. You can go ahead and rename columns, so total bill to bill. I know people that like to use this instead of the uh, the renaming that I had showed you before, which is the sort of tips dot columns uh, equals you know some sort of thing here. Uh, this this is both are both are useful, both have their place. Um, so I, I have actually used this before, so I include it, even though it is slightly redundant. Uh, and then finally, iter tuples. Um, Iter tuples. It's one of those things that I, that I give to you and I give you great responsibility when I do so. Um, you never, oh God, you never want to operate on pandas in a row-wise fashion. Iter tuples lets you iterate through pandas, through a data frame in pandas, as if it were a list. Um, mm, that is not good. Uh, generally speaking, this is super, this is not performant at all. It's super slow. Uh, you almost never want to do this. If you've got a very small data frame, and you're doing this for a very specific reason, you can do this. Um, but if you are doing this, I would, all, I would basically suggest that you, you should think of a different way to do it. Um, just literally just, you know, comment on my YouTube video, <laughs> ask me what you're doing. Uh, like I tried to do this with iter tuples and I'll try to suggest a better way to do it. Uh, there are some cases where you just can't do it. Um, and you need to use iter tuples. Um, so anyways, those are a lot of the functions that I have found super useful. Uh, I know there are other functions that probably should be here. df.apply is probably one of them, but you just don't have time for everything. Um, there are three more types of videos that I do want to go ahead and make uh, that didn't fit into this. One is time series. Uh, another one is IO. I really wanted to make IO, but it just, it didn't really feel like the right time or place. I wanted to see how much traction this series got in the first place. And if it, got, if it gets lots of traction, then I might make it. Uh, performance is another thing. Uh, there's uh, an entire sort of uh, different way you do things in, in Pandas to try to get good performance. And I have been there. I've been on the case where, you know, I've been booting up like one terabyte uh, of RAM machines trying to go ahead and work with data before. Um, and it's not fun, it's very expensive, and you know, the more performant you can get with uh, big data sets, the better. Um, as always, I hope you've liked this video. I hope you've liked this series itself. This is going to be the last one for the moment. Um, if you did like it, please give me a thumbs up on the video. It really helps the channel. It helps me know that you like it as well. Uh, if you want to see any of these types of series, time series, IO performance, leave a comment below. Um, if I get enough comments, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll make it. Um, the uh, the final thing I would ask is, you know, if you found these videos useful, um, subscribe to the channel and tell a friend. Um, this channel is very specific. It is very niche. I know that. There's a lot of data science channels that try to um, try to use a lot of fluff, and I, I think they they try to lure you into thinking you understand things without uh, without sort of giving you the full depth, without giving the nuance. And and if you hear anything is simple, then you, if, you, if anyone tells you anything is simple, eh, there's probably a lot more nuance to it to, to begin with. So anyways, sorry to get some philosophy for you. If you like the video, go ahead, like it, and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys again. Thanks.